My name is Adrian with Project Ramos and on this channel I do tech reviews and tech unboxings. So if you're passionate about tech like I am, consider subscribing. What I have here is the Ronalk keyboard case for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This case is built very well. It is very similar. Matter of fact, uh, it's very hard to tell the difference between this and the Apple branded keyboard case that they make for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Uh, there are a few differences and I'll point those out now, but I can tell you right now that the construction and the feel of this keyboard case is very similar, if not identical to the Apple branded keyboard case. Now, the uh, keyboard case does open up just like the iPad Pro uh, uh, Apple branded keyboard case does, you know, and you get that same viewing angle as you do with the uh, Apple branded one. So all of that is the same. The keyboard itself, um, the keys have a lot of travel and actually it has more travel than the Apple branded one. So if you do like a clicky keyboard, this is one to consider. Now, one of the cool things about this keyboard is the fact that there is no on and off switch. It detects when you open the case. So the keyboard shuts off when the case is closed and when you turn or when you open the case, rather, the keyboard automatically comes on. And you do get an indicator, LED indicator light to let you know the battery state of, uh, or the battery charge of the uh, keyboard case. It does charge uh, via USB type C. And that port can be found right here on the side. And the other cool part about this keyboard case is that the keyboard is backlit. You get this little uh, button right here that you tap once the keyboard or the light behind the keyboard keys uh, light up and there's three different intensities so in order to get uh, to the next intensity you tap it again and then to get to the highest one you tap it a third time so right now it's at its brightest uh, it's a little hard to see here on camera but you can see that it's uh, it's lit up there and then when you tap again it'll shut it off so it's one two three and then off and that's how you control the light on this keyboard case. Now, as far as the way the iPad attaches to this keyboard case, it magnetically attaches just like the Apple branded one. The magnets are fairly strong. It, it will grab onto your iPad uh, very well and uh, your iPad will stick onto this case easily. One thing to note about this keyboard case is that the trackpad does not have palm rejection, but they do offer um, a way to be able to turn the trackpad off uh, quickly and that's by holding down the function button and the space bar and that'll shut off the trackpad and then you can type away uh, it's a little inconvenient to have to keep doing that uh, every time you're gonna start typing and your palms might get in the way of the trackpad but uh, if there is a way to mitigate that issue um, and you know it, it depends on your use. In my case, I do use a trackpad, but I mostly use uh, the touchscreen um, to be able to navigate around my iPad. I do use a tra trackpad from time to time, so it doesn't bother me that much that I do have to turn off the trackpad in order to uh, be able to type and not, you know, accidentally uh, move the uh, cursor around and get some inadvertent clicks in there that I wasn't intending to do. So turning off the trackpad, not an issue for me. It's a little inconvenient, but if you use a trackpad a lot, that is something to consider. Now to give you a little bit of a uh, comparison here, I've got the Apple branded uh, keyboard case here on this side. And uh, you can see that the angle is exactly the same. The size of the keyboard is exactly the same. The keys themselves are pretty much identical. There is one plus that the run out keyboard has over the Apple branded one. And that is the fact that the number keys are also uh, function keys. So you're going to be able to control the brightness of the screen of your iPad. You're going to be able to uh, uh, call up Siri with the number three. Uh, the number four is a screenshot button. Uh, number five is a search button. Number six, seven, and eight will control the, uh, uh, your music. So play, pause, uh, you know, uh, and forward and backward. And then the uh, numbers nine, zero, and a minus are the volume keys. So you can mute, uh, lower the volume, higher the volume. And then th the plus button is the lock button. So the way you initiate all those is you hold down the function key. And if you're inside of an app, 
you can hold down the function key and then hit this one here and that'll take you back home so this keyboard uh the run out keyboard does have more functionality in terms of shortcuts compared to the apple branded one but as you can see here side by side you can hardly tell them apart they look identical they're the exact same size and color wise they're very uh it, they're identical uh, so this is the apple branded one here and this is the run elk very similar product so uh, you would really have to take a real close look in order to see that they are different uh, or that the run elk is not the apple branded one so the run elk is a very good alternative to the apple branded uh, keyboard case if like me um, you don't use the keyboard case that much uh, you use it sometimes but not all the time then you might not want to spend all the money on the apple branded one and save yourself some money by going with the run out keyboard case being that this keyboard case is very very similar to the apple branded one so this is a good choice um, either as your main keyboard case or as an accessory that you use from time to time like i do don't forget to subscribe that way you get notified the next time we upload a new video and if you found some value in this video hit that like button i'll see you on the next one